Hello. Are you ready to learn about something called a recession? Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. In fact, it's kind of like when you have to tighten your belt a little bit because you spent too much money on candy. The USA has had many recessions in its history. In fact, there have been so many recessions that it's hard to count them all. A recession is when the economy, which is like a big machine that makes money, stops working as well as it should. It's like when a toy breaks and you can't play with it anymore. When this happens, people start to lose their jobs and have less money to spend on things they need and want, like food, toys, and clothes. You might be wondering, how does a recession start? Well sometimes it happens because people get too excited about buying things and they spend too much money all at once. It's kind of like when you and your friends all want the same toy and you all start bidding on it and spending all your allowance. Then, when everyone has spent all their money, there's nothing left to buy other things, like snacks or ice cream. Other times, a recession can start because something unexpected happens, like a really bad storm or a big fire. This can make it hard for people to do their jobs and make money. And when people can't make money, they can't buy things they need, like groceries or medicine. So how do we know when we're in a recession? Well, there are a few signs. One of the biggest signs is when lots of people start losing their jobs. You might hear grown-ups talking about how someone they know got laid off or lost their job. This is like when your lemonade stand isn't selling enough lemonade. So you have to stop hiring your little sister to help you out. Some families might also have trouble paying for their houses or apartments, which can lead to them having to move somewhere else. This is like if your treehouse suddenly became too expensive for you to live in, and you had to find a new place to play. Another sign is when stores start having sales and discounts to try and get people to buy more things. This is because when people are worried about money, they tend to buy less. You might be wondering, what does a recession look like to the ordinary person? Well, it can be different for everyone, but some people might have to cut back on things they normally enjoy doing, like going to the movies or playing sports. They might have to eat out less and cook more at home. And some people might have to switch to cheaper brands of things they need, like shampoo or toothpaste. But the good news is that recessions don't last forever. Just like a cold or a flu, they eventually go away. One way we can help the economy get better is by working together and supporting each other. This means buying things we need from local stores and businesses, and being kind and helpful to our friends and neighbors who might be struggling. Another way we can help is by being smart with our money. This means not spending too much on things we don't really need, like extra toys or snacks. It also means saving some of our money for a rainy day, in case something unexpected happens. Another thing we can do is to help out our friends and neighbors who might be struggling. We can be kind to them and offer to help them with things like chores or buying groceries. Finally, grown-ups who work in the government can also help by making rules and laws to try and make the economy better. They might give money to businesses to help them stay open and keep people employed, or they might make it easier for people to get loans to start their own businesses. Even though recessions can be tough, they usually don't last forever. Just like how your mom might save up some extra money so you can have a special treat once in a while, countries can also come up with ways to help their economy and make things better for everyone. For example, they might give people more money to spend, which can help businesses stay open and people keep their jobs. Or they might invest in new things like better schools, roads, or hospitals, which can create more jobs and make things better for everyone. There you have it. A recession is kind of like when we have to tighten our belts and be a little more careful with our money. Even though we've had a lot of recessions in the past, we've always found a way to make things better in the end. And if we work together and stay positive, we can do it again if we ever have another recession in the future.